Come and lift up your hands to God this evening. Come and give him glory, give him glory. Give him glory, give him glory. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Can you stand up on your feet for a while? We're not here to praise ourselves. We're not here to praise ourselves. Come and lift up your hands to God. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. He's listening. You are one. Come on, sing to him. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are Khaled. Priest. to do things to impress people we are so so ready to impress people but God is asking are you going to please me or impress people are you going to please me or impress people I don't know there is someone in this place tonight God is talking to you but you are reasoning with him you are telling God, God, what will people say? God, how would they see me? But God is saying, I just want you to say yes. You might be asking yourself, God, how will I eat? But He's saying, I just want you to say yes. I am more than enough for you. I am more than enough for you. That's a word for someone in the house to say, Kalera, I am more than enough for you. I can feel it in the atmosphere. That's a word for someone in the atmosphere here. I am more than enough. Stop looking to people. I am more than enough. Kelly Satela. I am more than enough. Kalabosha Namata Ledegabosha. Early this year, around last year, I was invited for a wedding to minister. I don't know how to sing love songs. I don't know how to sing praise and worship. But while I was invited, I told the person, I only know how to sing worship and my song. And he said I should come. He was a wedding reception. Do you lead worship in a wedding reception? Naturally, no. Because I knew what God had called me to do, and I knew I was rather going to please him than please men. Sometimes your provision is in your pleasing God. So I went and I got to the place and it was time for ministration. I came out, I gave them the soundtrack. And when I began in my spirit, I felt like speaking in tongues in a wedding reception. And I started speaking in tongues. By the time I was done ministering, I was stepping out of the door and someone met me and said, can I have your number? And we were chatting. So I asked him for a parlor worship space. He said I should come to his house. So we were chatting. And I mentioned that I needed a place to stay on the mainland because I stay on the island. And then he said, you can come and stay here. I've been in his house for past one year. I've not paid one dime for house rent. Sometimes your provision is in your obedience. Some of us, we've reasoned with God. God, if I do this thing here, he doesn't fit the atmosphere. God is not reasonable. If you think God is reasonable, you are serving something else. Tell me how God put water inside the, the, the coconut. Tell me how God parted the sea. Tell me how Mary was ready and able to conceive. Come on, come on, come on. 
one more time I just want you to lift up your hands to God today and say Lord I say yes oh I say yes I will follow you I will respond to you I will follow no matter what it looks like we're going to say God your word is true tonight when you say God's word is true it means you're saying yes so just flow with us as we worship
Come on, let your worship flow to him. Come on, let your worship flow to him. What's in this place? In 2011, I wanted to go and record this song. And then I, I remembered I had, the money I had on me was not up to no, what I was supposed to go to Joss with. No. As at that time, they were still killing Christians. I've never gone to Joss before. But I told God, it's your song, not my own. So I went to the airport. The money was not enough. There was no money for accommodation or feeding for three days. But I said I would still go. I still feel in my spirit there is someone trying to struggle with God. And he's telling me to tell this story for you so that you can obey. The Bible says there will be no cloud. It says there will be no evidence that the rain will fall. It says, but well, yet the valley shall be filled. You will carry calculator. You will lose counts. But yet I will do it. And then he's asking, is there anything too difficult for me to do? You need to give him the answer tonight. If you believe God's word is true, just begin to tell him. People have said many things about you. But God's word is more real. People have said you can't go far. But God's word is more real. People have told you this certificate cannot get you anything. But God's word is so real. Come on. We are not yet to entertain ourselves. Come on, what's up? 